Next up, we're going to be doing some magic monkeys only with no monkey knowledge over here on Hedge. So we're going to head there with Oban as our hero. We're going to place down a Druid over here. Down until red. To the right until red right there. Press play. We're going to buy the Thorn Swarm upgrade as soon as we can. And if we got the placement right, we shouldn't leak anything there. There we go. We're going to save up for Oban, who's going to go down and then to the left over here. We need to get to 700 first. That's some money, but not a lot. If we were on half cash, it would take a while. Left until red. Down. The right there. Is and Open's going to do a really nice job of pushing that damage all the way up here to the front. As the wolf hits something and then jumps. So we get some pretty good speed from Open here as well. And then we're going to come back over here and save up for the Druid of the Jungle. Druid of the Jungle is a really nice option for going fast and getting through this level as quickly as possible. Just need a thousand real quick. And once we have that upgrade, we're also going to get the Hard Thorns upgrade so that we can pop pretty much any balloon type. If only Druids could hit Camo, we'd be really happy with this. Now we have a lot of damage, but we still have those camo balloons to worry about, so we're going to also get a wizard monkey over here. It's going to go right below this druid over here. We go down, and then just to the left a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. And then right there. We're going to get the intense magic and the monkey sense. And then we're going to come over here and place down another wizard monkey. We don't want this wizard monkey to get Oban's buff, so that's why we're placing it down here. Down until red. Left until red. Down. Right there. Getting all the way in that corner there. And Oban saving us just a little bit of time there with the totem. Fortunate. We're saving up for Shimmer and eventually the Necromancer upgrade. We want to get this Necromancer upgrade as soon as we can, as it gives us so much speed. This combination of Druid plus Necromancer is really good for going fast. So we're almost to 3000. Necromancer are doing some damage for us there. So we have the Necromancer upgrade. You might be wondering what we're going to do next. We're going to get some druids going. We're going to go up until red. To the right until red. Up until red. To the right until red. And then right below it, up until red, to the right until red, up to the right. We're going to get Thorn Swarm on both of these. 
And then we're gonna come over here and upgrade this to the Druid of Wrath. We wanna make sure that one's fully upgraded as much as we can right now. Up until red, to the right until red, right there. Thorn Swarm, coming back up here, down until red, right there. Thorn Swarm, left, down, Thorn Swarm there as well. Let's go ahead and get this one down, left, on this one as well. So these all have Thorn Swarm and they're all eventually going to be buffing the Druid right here. So now we can come back over here and upgrade this to Pop List. And then we're going to upgrade this as well. Getting that secondary buff of Pop List is really good here. And then we're going to get one more before we do anything else. So that we have three total Pop List Druids. There we go. So the third pop list druid is the signal for us to get down an alchemist, who will fit right over here, up until red, up until red, to the right until red, right there. We're going to upgrade this to Berserker Brew. Then we're going to get the faster throwing. Saving up for the stronger stimulant here. We want that buff on the front of our screen. But now we're going to come back over here and get another Necromancer. We can see here this one is getting the buff, right? So we're going to come back over here, go down until red again, and then left. Getting that Necromancer upgrade there. We're going to come back over here and get some more Pop Lust going. Getting one more stack of Pop Lust. Although the money is really slow right now. But it is not because we're going slow, it's because of the level. We're making really good time, actually. Pop list again. And then we can see here this druid still has only four stacks. We want that fifth stack. So let's go ahead and get that. There we go, now we can come back over here and finally start upgrading this wizard monkey. Arcane Mastery is going to give us even more range here, so we can see we're all the way up in the front of our screen. And that's why we're also going to be getting the Arcane Spike upgrade, as it's a ton of utility for us. We're also going to be setting this to prioritize the camo blooms. We would love to be able to rely on just these necromancers down here, but sometimes the blooms can sneak through, and we want to make sure our only other source of camo detection is going to prioritize those. And we can see here we just got the secondary buff from Oban right before round 63, so that's very fortunate for us. It 
that makes round 63 a breeze here. And gets us through the level pretty quickly. We don't have to wait for any balloons to come back over here and for the Druid of the Jungle to be the one popping those. Let's get ready to buy the Arcane Spike as soon as we have the money. Interesting though that we see this attack a lot, and it's really popping a lot even though it doesn't look like it is. It's doing some pretty decent work for us. Let's go ahead and come back over here. We want to make sure that we are closest to the Wizard Monkey. Left until red, right there. We're also going to be getting the faster throwing here. I really thought about getting the middle path, but I think it's just good to get all of those buffs going around so that we can get even more druid buffs as well. So as soon as we get the stronger stimulant, we're looking really good. We have a lot of flexibility in what we can do here. Me personally, I like to get one more Druid for Poplist. We just want to make sure we're within range of Oban. Right there is good. We're upgrading this to Poplist. Right there. One more Necromancer, just make sure it's not within range of the Alchemist. Right there looks good. We're going to upgrade this to the Necromancer again. And it won't really push up all the way to the front of our screen quite as quickly as our other Necromancers, but it's still going to do decent work for us. And in situations like where that BFB got a little bit further up, it's going to give us a lot of value. Right there is good. The one downside though that we're going to see here is that we don't get a lot of grave on this one. So we have to wait for stuff to leak just a little bit further for us to start getting the value from it. It was really the only way I saw us getting through these levels more quickly without taking a buff from our more valuable towers. We could again get another druid here, but it's not really going to give us much value because we already have so much damage. We just really need a little more camo damage. But we can go ahead and put down one more for the ZOMG. And at this point, if Poplus stacked higher than five, this would be a really powerful tower. Still doing a pretty good job for us here. As we can see, high efficiency because we're able to shoot all the way down this lane here. And there we saw the camo blooms coming in pretty quickly. And now round 80 is coming up. We could also place down another alchemist. Just make sure that we don't put it somewhere that it's going to buff the wizards. We could make this one Perishing Potions and set it to strong. We could even place down another. Really, we have the engine that we need here. There you have it. Hedge with Magic Monkeys only. Our Monkey Star is that 004 Necromancer. Popping just about one-fifth of our overall balloons there. So a lot of damage coming from that tower that didn't even get the Oban buff. And there you have it.